grab a coffee and get yourself caffeinated because I'm about to go through the top 10 most underrated indie games from 2023. My name is Beck, aka Caffeinated Chaos Click, and I'm an Australian gamer and streamer who loves creating content all about indie games. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more indie game reviews, playthroughs, recommendations, and more. Without further ado, let's dive in to the top 10 most underrated indie games from 2023. Coming in 10th place, we have Deceive Inc, a battle royale style game where you go undercover as spies and attempt to steal crucial information from a top secret vault, whilst also battling with other spies who are after the same intel. You'll be able to take on an NPC's appearance to disguise yourself, or you can choose to take a riskier route and engage in a good old fashioned shootout. No matter which way you choose to play, the groovy soundtrack and design style will keep you dancing all the way to the extraction point. In ninth place, we have Viewfinder, the game that sees you enter a simulation where you can alter reality with just a photo. You'll be required to manipulate different environments using photos that materialize to work your way through the simulation and figure out how to save the world from a catastrophic climate event. Once you get past the mind boggling mechanics, this beautifully designed game will have you scratching your head for hours on end, but with some out of the box thinking and the help of your trusty kitty sidekick, you may just make it to the end. In at number eight, we have Let's School, a school tycoon game where you have just been promoted to principal of a rundown school, and it's your job to fix it up and make it the best school in the region. You'll be responsible for enrolling students, creating a course that sets them up for success, building sufficient classrooms and amenities for your students, and hiring staff to teach and run the school. With a cute anime inspired design style and some really solid game mechanics, you'll quickly find yourself confiscating contraband and juggling schedules like a pro. Coming in seventh place, we have Unboxing the Cryptic Killer, a co-op escape room mystery where you and a friend play as two detectives tasked with releasing someone kidnapped by the mysterious cryptic killer. You'll need to make sure your communication skills are on point for this one as you work together to solve all of the cryptic clues and puzzles the killer has left for you in an attempt to rescue the kidnappy before it's too late. With a colorful comic style and some pretty great voice acting, this one is a great way to spend a few hours playing with your chosen partner in crime. In sixth place, we have I Am Future, a cozy survival game set in a post-apocalyptic world. In this early access game, you'll find yourself waking from cryostasis on an abandoned rooftop, having no memory whatsoever. You'll need to salvage materials, craft objects, cook food, and battle some pretty nasty plants to be able to survive long enough to figure out what happened to Earth and who you are. This game creates a cozy feel with a great graphic style, but adds in some of the much loved survival elements to make a cozy survival ball of goodness that will have you addicted to delving through trash cans to see what you can sell. Coming in at number five, we have Storyteller, a puzzle cross storytelling game where you have to make the pictures fit the storyline. With a beautiful graphic style and some ace mechanics, you'll be introduced to a range of different characters and then forced to put them into all different scenarios to make the story come true which can definitely lead to some interesting storyline. This game is a breath of fresh air that will have you in stitches and weirdly obsessed with coming up with all sorts of wild backstories to justify your character's behavior. In fourth place, we have Underground Blossom, Rusty Lake's latest addition to the psychological horror space. This one adds another chapter to the story. And if you're familiar with any of the other Rusty Lake games, you'll see some familiar characters appearing in this game too. You'll be taken on a wild time traveling train ride following the main character, Laura, as she navigates her trauma and its impact throughout various of her life stages. You'll be presented with a series of puzzles at each station that you'll need to solve to get your ticket to continue on. And things can get a little weird. With a cool graphic style and some freaky sound effects, this one will have you looking over your shoulder and concern for your soul. And make sure to stick around for the Easter egg challenge after the main story concludes for a sneak peek into what may be coming. Coming in at number three, we have Final Profit, a shop RPG, a shop management game across with an epic fantasy storyline that sees you, a fey ex-queen, take on capitalism one customer at a time. In this story-driven game, you'll need to build up your shop and work your way up the capitalist ladder to take down the Bureau of Business before they take down your kingdom. With a side of dark humor and a cool synthy soundtrack, this game will see you lost for hours in an immersive and hilarious storyline. And whatever you do, do not drink the toilet water. 
In at number two, we have Calyx, the flat pack building co-op nightmare that sees you and up to five friends building flat packs in space. If you like chaotic co-op games like Overcooked or Moving Out, this one is cut from the same cloth. And with multiple seemingly simple pieces of furniture to construct and deliver within a certain amount of time, there is much fun to be had. And if things go wrong, there's always the option to yeet it off the spaceship and start again. This one will get your rage levels up, but there's no greater feeling than finally putting the lampshade on the correct way and getting full price for your hard work. And coming in as the most underrated indie game for 2023, we have Espresso Tycoon, a cafe simulator that sees you managing every aspect of running a cafe. Now, I may be a little biased here with the coffee theme, but honestly, this has been my favorite release from 2023. You'll get to decorate and furnish your cafe, design custom branding, hire your staff, order supplies, and you can even create your own coffee recipes too. With a sleek graphic style and well thought out and executed game mechanics, you'll find yourself losing a lot of time to this game and for good reason too. The only downside is that playing this game will probably make you crave coffee even more. That is a wrap on the top 10 most underrated indie games from 2023. If you're looking for a new game to play, I highly recommend all of these incredible games. You can find links to all of them in the description below. And make sure you share this video to get the word out about these amazing games. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more indie game content. And if you're interested in the fully chaotic and always caffeinated live gameplay experience, make sure to hit the bell to get notified when I go live on YouTube. Come and follow me on Twitch and also I'm live streaming on TikTok. Until next time.